My name is Commissioner Frank Avila of the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District of Greater Chicago. And the name of our show today is Avila Making a Difference, Emotional Resilient with Laughter Yoga. And I have as my guest that's going to explain it all to us is Linda Torlukas. Thanks for being on our show, Linda. Oh, yeah. Hey. Oh, good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Happy to be here. <laughs> now, the name of our show, the title of our show, you're going to have to explain that to the audience. Ah, okay. okay. Well, it's not too hard. Emotions. We know what they are, and everybody goes, oh, <gasps> when oh, they hear about emotions. Right. But and through laughter that, yoga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a little kind of interesting <laughs> yeah. part about it. Um, where do you want me to start? <laughs> a any place where your emotion starts with. Okay. Any place where, where we need that resilient. Yeah. You know, well, emotion. You know, you get up in the morning, and you may have some type of emotion some kind of prom or, sure. or, or you're going to go to a prom or you're going to get married or, or, or maybe you're getting anything happening in your life. We mm -hmm. have a, emotional stress. Yeah. Uh, typically we have, uh, we do, everybody is full of emotions. That's how we relate to each <laughs> other. Only we are in our infancy of understanding that. Yeah. Uh, generally we find that relating to other people is one of the hardest things to do in the world, but it's, it's, it can be easier. And how we're doing this with laughter yoga is, laughter yoga was invented in 1995 by a, a medical doctor and they're celebrating the 20th anniversary 20th of it. 20th anniversary. Mm -hmm. And you say invented. Well, he invented the concept of the laughter clubs. Yes. And the idea of laughing yoga was in yogic annals of history over time. But laughter yoga itself bases itself on the idea of what yoga is, is prana, they call it, uh, the breathing type we have. Yoga itself means yoke or union, and uh, as far as translating it from the Sanskrit. And when we, when we take union together and we take the idea of deeper breathing so that we move our diaphragm and our belly, and we use the idea of laughter to do that, and we put the two of them together, we have laughing yoga. And how we do this is in a, a, like a, a group-like setting. We make eye contact, and we start out with some exercise laughter, and it suddenly becomes very natural and real. And our body doesn't know, really, uh, much difference between what's natural laughter and exercise, because your diaphragm is moving, and your belly is moving, yeah. and everything is uh, oxygenating in your body, and you feel really good. You know, <laughs> and, and, and I'm glad done. you mentioned breathing, yeah. because we have to breathe to live. Yeah. But if, if, if laughter yoga is teaching us how to breathe. Better. Better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely, because we are, we get stressed and we stop yeah. that breathing process. And what, what happens is it's in our belly, our, yeah. our, our, our diaphragm doesn't move. And it start, starts to get stale. And we start having this buildup of CO2 in our lungs yeah. as a result of our oxygen, yeah. our breathing process yeah. doesn't move right. And so with laughter, what happens is, is we start increasing the beneficial ways we breathe. And so we start breathing out um, that we exhale that CO2 because we have muscles to um, to exhale with, but they're not as effective as our inhale muscles. So laughter is pretty natural to get it all out. And if you can have a really good laugh for a period of time, what you can do is you're really stimulating this all of so many more things in your body, your your endorphins, your all of your we call them that cocktail of happy hormones. Yeah. And you're building your immune system yeah. and you're relaxing your muscles so they're not so tense. And uh, you're allowing so much more circulation going in your body. So it's helped so many different kinds of illnesses that yeah. are out there. And it's aided to them because mostly the emotions get raised. And then your body can do what it's naturally supposed to do in healing itself. Everybody goes into yeah. a place where it doesn't feel good and it knows how to heal itself. and if we kind of get out of the way and stop worrying about it so much, it will start to heal itself. And sometimes we do need medicines, we do need the other yeah. things, but we need less of them less of when that, we yeah. are feeling good and we are feeling happy. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah. And you know, we're, uh, as I mentioned, I'm the commissioner at the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District of Greater Chicago. Mm -hmm. And they're always telling me, how can we keep the pharmaceuticals out of the water? And I tell them, you know, the easiest solution is staying healthy. And I said, one of the solutions to staying healthy is laughter yoga. Because as you mentioned, energy, oxygen in our body, we're moving, our endorphins are working, our muscles is loosening up. And, and, and uh, elderly 
uh, they like to take, we take a lot of medicine. But if they take less, and this is for them also because they cannot run 15 miles or 20 miles. Mm -hmm. But laughter yoga, they could, if they're sitting down, they could laugh all they, they, they all during the day laugh. There's a study in Exeter, <laughs> England, and yeah. they put uh, people on a treadmill, yeah. and they have them work out on a treadmill for 10 minutes. Then they have them do a laughter yoga session. Yeah. And so two different separate yeah. opportunities. And they measured their breathing intake, yeah. and uh, they started taking a look at what they were elevating. And they did this on a caloric schedule, yeah. so just kind of give sure. you an idea that isn't, isn't about the breathing one, but there are blood pressure studies that show that laughter yoga decreases your blood pressure and uh, several different studies on that. But this one was interesting because of the, uh, the way that they did this. What happened was, how many calories do you think you burn uh, 10 minutes on a treadmill? Oh, I don't know, 100 calories? Uh, 49. 49? Yeah, <laughs> it's awesome. How many calories do you think you would burn doing 10 minutes of laughter yoga? I, I, was, I, I would say less than 49. 151. 151 <laughs> because everything's moving in Three your body. times as much. Yeah, yeah. Oh, three yes. times as much? Three times as much. So uh, I don't know. There's, uh, there's more <laughs> statistics on the fact that you could lose maybe, I'd say, about four pounds a year if you're laughing on a regular basis on a re in, a, in a regular format of time, about 15 minutes a day. Yes. Um, and who laughs 15 minutes a day? Well, uh, do you know anybody outside well, of a I, laughter club? Yes, a laughter club. If a person goes to a laughter club, yes. they'll last more than 15 minutes. Well, yes, so. yes. well, that would be the one place. Can you name another place where people will laugh for 10, 15 minutes? Well, uh, the only place I know is that when a baby's being born or when they're three <laughs> months old in, 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 in the nursery, they're, they're laughing all the time. The, the baby. Yeah. Well, kids, they laugh at everything. Yeah. You know, you say one word, they're <laughs> laughing. They, they, their response system is already triggered for laughter. It's just they get older and they go to school and they have to start having responsibilities. Our emotions then, are building up. Uh, well, yeah. people are telling them what to do yeah. and there's like no autonomy for yeah. children. <laughs> and they're having to do so many other things and then they get older and they get surrounded by other people and they start kind of forgetting what it is to feel good and that yeah. natural response yeah. to laughter. So here we get older and we've forgotten a lot of things. Laughter yoga helps you remember. It helps you get more playful, childlike. And not childish, yeah. but childlike. Oh. And it helps you remember that you were designed with joy in mind and that you are what's good and right in the world. Right. Huh. And, and this is what Linda wants to do. This is her goal in life. I think this is your goal in life. I <laughs> want to spread educating laughter yoga and how it affects emotion. Oh, yeah. I think, yeah. I think we, uh, we're a little afraid of emotion. I would say... If I ask any man about emotion, they would run. <laughs> right. But I think if we could all understand how to effectively and efficiently use our emotion, yeah. we would be much better off. We would start to look at the idea of it's just a feeling. You know, it's just a, there's a difference between feeling and emotion. They're, they're, yeah. they're, they're a little bit different. And feeling and emotion. Yeah. 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 Feeling yeah. is kind of sensory yes. and it's intuitive yeah. and uh, it's got a lot of different ideas to it. Emotion is that absolutely uh, uh, feeling that you, it, it, we, I'm still calling it a feeling, aren't I? <laughs> 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 well, ha, ha, ha. That's what, that's what we yeah. use laughter yoga for. Um, the idea is that emotion is a response somewhere in our body to what's going on our attitude, yeah. you might say. And sometimes we can go all the way down and they generally come from change. Whenever there's a change element, what happens is we either go to seeing it as an opportunity or seeing it as a fight or flight response. And one of the biggest problems in the world is not hate, it's fear. Yeah. And so when we get fear, we get locked down. We, get, we stay stuck yeah. and we, you know, we really have yeah. to have something go off underneath us to really explode before we decide that will make a change. And change is just going to happen every day, all the time. Yeah. It's inevitable. <laughs> and uh, growth, though, <laughs> well, that's your opportunity to either stay yeah. stuck in the decay mode or stuck in the growing mode. Yeah. When, um, but understanding that it's not very hard to look at some of this is hard. <laughs> <laughs> we overcomplicate things as human beings, and we want to keep it simple. Yes. And uh, laughter yoga is pretty simple. It's natural. It doesn't cost anything. Everybody can do it. And if you breathe in with me now. Sure. 
Let me put my paper yeah, down. Yeah, because we want to show people, okay, sure. you know, the whole idea is that when you inhale, you want to have a longer exhale. So breathe in and just laugh out. <laughs> so, so notice so how long the exhale. Lo yeah, right. Yeah. I see that. And, Good. And, and I feel a lot better. Yes, yes. I feel a lot better. All of a sudden you could change your mood like that. You could yeah. be in a bad mood and you can, I say you can get glad in the yeah. same pants you got mad right. in. Yeah. Okay, so, <laughs> so I also realized that if you could move whenever you, have you ever recognized when you've been in a really good mood and then you're laughing and your body goes back and forth? Yeah. So try that with me oh, now. Yeah. Breathe in and let's go ahead and lean forward. <laughs> It just comes right out. It, it comes. Does. It can, yeah. It's easy. Yeah. Well, yeah. with a laugh like that, you know, you're priceless. Yeah, I mean, it, it comes, and, and you know, it makes me feel better. Yeah. Uh, my, I know my endorphins are going. I feel a lot of energy. You're not touching your endorphins. That's your diaphragm. Uh, that right? <laughs> my, my oxygen has improved. Yes. You know? Um, excellent. Yeah. yeah, there's so many physical benefits yeah. to this. On, and that's just on the physical level, but on, like um, I think I've explained before that on the physical level, we're all committed to going to the gym and we're all committed yes. to looking good and being right, particularly in the United States. <laughs> 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 but we get out there and we'll, we'll dedicate ourselves to getting out there and working out and, and we're working out our physical body. We also are pretty dedicated to our mental capacity, our cognitive mind, because we go to school, we educate ourselves, we do crossword puzzles, we continually challenge our brain. Yeah. And so our cognitive process gets more developed. Well, when you laugh, what happens is, is all the seriousness that seems to come after so much development, it, when you laugh, you just relax some of that. So this power struggle people have with each other kind of disappears. Uh, that's kind of on the emotional level too, but so we're pretty dedicated about our physical and our mental practices. We're also pretty dedicated. Physical, physical and mental. Right. Okay. Now, we're also pretty dedicated about our spiritual practice, spiritual, whether we know yeah. it or not, because people want to center themselves. They want to go to church or, or whatever religious organization they belong to, make a faithful practice of it. And so people are dedicated to doing those kind of things. They're dedicated to trying some meditation, yes. to do things to calm themselves and to find the centering and the peace they're looking for. Maybe breathing practices. Whatever it is that this whole spiritual side, this place that gets us connected to ourselves and to others, we are dedicated to doing that. So we put a time frame in it. So we dedicate ourselves to physical, mental, and spiritual. But where do we ever dedicate ourselves to our emotional practice? Uh -huh. Enter laughter yoga. What happens in laughter is that this diaphragm is moving and it's moving your yeah, organs. Not the dwarf, this is a diaphragm. <laughs> <It's> a diaphragm. <laughs> and it's moving your organs yes. and it's moving your lungs and it's moving so many things in your body so it can't stay stuck anymore. And so what's happening is we're shaking up a lot of things that are in the body, a lot of that illness, a lot of that worry and stress, and we're shaking it up. And when we shake it out, what happens next? Yeah. <laughs> we need to fill it up with something. So the more, one simple way is to continue to laugh, to t continue to do the practice of laughter. It reminds you of all the good things you are and do in the world. And if you can continue to practice, uh, you will start to build this resilience in your body because something will happen and you no longer are affected by it. Uh, I said, I was telling Frank here that uh, when I speak in front of groups, I used to speak as a leadership director years ago, and I had a good time and I enjoyed myself. But once I started doing laughter yoga, what a difference it made and what confidence I didn't realize it didn't have came into play. So I realized I could do laughter yoga with young girls and help them to feel more confident yeah. in themselves. I, you know, if I could do this with young boys, they could be maybe stop the violent trend that we have in the world and we could maybe make that feel a little bit better because they can kind of be reminded that, it, oh yeah, it's not that serious. 
life is pretty good when we look at it this way. And when you're laughing with another person, we even have an argument laughter so that if... <laughs> an argument laughter? Yeah, oh. because if you want to argue with somebody, we show you how to do it a different way. Pretty soon you kind of wonder why you were mad and why your emotions were <laughs> yeah. coming up. And it's a better way to say, if I can step back and do something different, I'll have a better outcome. So let's try this. Okay. So get your finger up there. Okay, finger, and okay. you can try this at home. With, right. And you can practice for that person you really love. So when they come home and they're irritating yeah. you, I want you to go ahead and wave your finger in front of them. And I want you to go, ah. just comes out of me. I, I, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Frank's been in our laughter clubs long. Yeah. And so that's one of the things we do to break up an exercise so we know we're going ending one and going to another. Yeah. But it's also very childlike. And when you say yay, yes. your hands are yeah. up in the air. Yeah. And think about it this way. Uh, one woman on this, I, I cannot remember her name offhand, but she talked about a scientific study they did yeah. where standing with their um, hips squared and the hands in the air yeah. and the chin up, up is the victory pose. Yeah. And also, if you could do that for two minutes every day, you are building positive energy in your body. So mm. we're doing a very good, very good yay. yay. We've been doing it for yeah. 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> and then also, I, I learned from you, Linda, at some of your, your uh, workshops, your, that when you clap, Yes. And, and you hit uh, all your uh, some pressure points. Acupressure points. Uh, acupuncture points. Yeah. Right. And that's why now when I clap, because of you, I clap like this. Because then I'm hitting a lot of pressure points. Mm -hmm. That's helping me also. Yes. We tell, we tell everybody that everybody, we get them started clapping and they do this kind of clapping. And uh, that's fine and it's wonderful to clap for somebody that way. But if you can do it in this particular way where your hands are coming together, uh, what happens is, is you benefit and then the person you clapping for benefits. So it's a win-win. Yeah. So it's like when you want to live your life, create win-wins everywhere you can. And that's one of them. But Let's show them how we start with clapping okay. because sometimes we start out to show people things, give them a little introduction about what it is, and so that everybody can feel comfortable about it. And, and this is helping honor our, emotion, their own body. Right? our emotion also. Oh, yeah. Well, it's just how we start a laughter session. But um, if you go ahead, clap. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but go ahead now. Let's put a rhythm to it. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. Now let's put some sound to it. So you see, you stimulated your yeah, acupressure yes. points. You I, I, stimulated I your. I, yeah. I can feel all through my hands. Goes all the way up your yeah, arms. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they have these uh, meridians run in yes. the body through the uh, oriental medicine, and they call it chi. And so you can kind of feel it moving through your body as you're clapping. So and, and it, it has improved my emotion also. I, I feel happy. I don't feel negative. I, I feel like I love everyone. They're all my friends. So they are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's great. Yeah. And it's free. It's free. It's free. That's the one thing about it is that maybe we don't trust it because it's free. And we got to see get the white papers on it. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, uh, could you explain to the audience on uh, uh, the difference in participating into a laughter club? and taking a workshop based on the emotion education. Oh, sure. They're, they're uh, two different, right? There's a difference there. Well, sure. A laughter club, is you go to practice. And the idea is it's got four walls, and people are in it, and they're practicing. They're practicing laughter. Uh, we start out with a simple exercised idea, and what happens is the very natural and true sense of laughter comes through. And what happens is so many benefits to the body. And we do uh, uh, some of this clapping and exercised idea. And then we finish with a laughing meditation and a very nice grounded relax that completes the experience. That's a, um, a place where you can go to practice. But if you were to do like a workshop, this is the education you get. This is the next step. This is why you're doing what you're doing. In the exercise, you're just doing it. 
and here you're finding out why and you're finding out the reason behind it. You're finding about the science behind breathing oh, God, and the science. significance about it. Uh, you might find uh, your emotional development by doing a practice at one point and then a practice later and then measuring the difference between the two so you can kind of see, create evidence for yourself about what's happening. You can learn, oh, well, between the history, you learn a lot more of the benefits. Um, in our workshops, we're really helping people to know the benefits and physically to feel them and emotionally and mentally and spiritually because we want people to open up to the inner spirit of joy. And so when we do a workshop, that's the kind of thing that happens in two days. I can tell you I have never had one person who has not opened up to that inner spirit of joy. And it is marvelous to see. Having been a leadership director and watched people over four days turn and change their lives, how, yes. you know, how it looks, I've done that in two days and I, I, every single person has moved into this place. I tell them to wear their expando pants because they're not going home in the same package. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody ever does. Yeah. And they all agree that I've told, I've warned them, your misery is in danger. We're going to get rid of it or exercise it. <laughs> and it happens. So, but it's the other part about it is keeping the practice practiced. And that's why we have laughter clubs to continue to do Great. the yes, practice. Yes. So that instead of, you know, while you work out at the gym, laugh <laughs> yes, yes. in between your exercises or you can you know laugh in between your schooling or your yes. you know things like that you'll do better on a test if you laugh because you're relaxing all your muscles so there's a whole lot of benefit to this as far as uh, relaxing the body and, and helping the the illness or the perceived stress that's happening in the body to relax while we're increasing all of this beneficial wellness in the body where what's natural to the body and bringing it back and well, I'm glad you mentioned school, and that's why it's so important that if, if in, in the uh, curriculum, in the, in the grammar schools, or in the high school, or in the college, before they start school or start classes, maybe they should start with laughing. Yeah, in India they do. They do. And they have morning and, laughter sessions. Yeah, and, and because, you know, uh, we're talking about uh, the uh, educating our kids and what needs to be done, while well, they're leaving out laughing. If they were to, <laughs> to come in, have the kids go through a 15-minute or 20-minute laughing type of session, mm -hmm. they'll set their day. Yeah. Well, you know what? It's really critical in schools, too, because we are cutting out uh, all these arts and we're cutting out all of these things that give kids this chance to explore and really be creative in the way they normally have. Even recess is cutting out. Gym is being cut out at certain schools. And so where are they getting this release time yeah. to, so to simply stop between, yeah. you know, engaging the brain and then yeah. engage the body? And what we're so used to is jokes. We tell jokes and humor yeah. and we, we think laughter is a response. But in laughter yoga, we've proven it to be the opposite, yeah. where we can actually just laugh for no reason. You don't have to have jokes. You don't have to have comedy. You don't even have to be funny. I'm glad you brought that up, that <laughs> in laughter yoga, no jokes. Yeah. Just let your body right. start moving and start laughing. When you do that, that's what happens is the resilience comes with the practice and the yeah. development about it and saying that there's another way and it isn't so hard. With laughter, you know, we're, we're all so stern about the ways we learn things. It doesn't have to be. Yeah. It makes us playful. And when we play with an idea, as opposed to having to do it, we're more likely to have success with it. And when we laugh our way through it, we just suddenly have to let go of all the other having tos, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden the right way comes along. So we open to something like more connective with yeah. people too. You know, I, I go work out, and there's like 50 people working out. <laughs> and I look at them, and they're working out, and they're stressing themselves out, the, the expression on their face, and I turned and I said, why don't you guys laugh too at the same time? <laughs> Maybe a lot easier. <laughs> because so when I work out, I try and hold, a, I force a laugh. I go like that there, so trick my body. Can yeah. one trick their body into laughing? Mm -hmm. Linda? <laughs> yes, everybody yeah. can because we have um, an expression that if your body is laughing, uh, your, ba your body is laughing in exercise mode, it doesn't really know much of a difference between the natural mode. There is a little bit, but yeah. um, I would say that, you think about it, your, your rib cage is moving up and down, so it's, yeah. it's giving a massage yeah. to your organs, and there's a whole surge of air coming in through your body, so it's activating the oxygen in yeah. the body, and your muscles are relaxing, and so what's happening, whether you are exercising it or not, it's 
very natural. Yeah. It's it, you're <laughs> still going to get a benefit. So that's why we start with exercise and move into what's natural. And you know, and that's why I gave Linda my 2014 Laughter mm -hmm. Yoga Excellent Award because this is what Linda does that she goes out and educate people on how to stay healthy and healthy emotions through laughter yoga. And, and Linda is the top <laughs> master trainer in laughter yoga, I think in the world, Linda. And, and, and this <laughs> you think is, so, huh? Oh yes, uh, <laughs> and this is my opinion, is that uh, here is a top person and, and she's right here in the Midwest, in Chicago. They, they say in the Midwest, we're a little slower in learning new things. But here we have the top trainer here in the Midwest. But she, she travels out through the whole world. She's gonna to go to Germany. She's gonna to go to Spain. She's gonna to go to France. Uh, uh, she just came back from India. And uh, uh, she's all over the place. And, it's, and we have her right here in Chicago. Can you imagine that? I <laughs> 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 with myself. <laughs> yeah. well, Linda, we're, we're coming to an end. Anything more you could tell our audience or do anything or? Um, yeah, I think, I think what's happened is there's, um, there's a, there was a big talk on uh, violence in the world and I think there's a lot of it. And it's one of the reasons that compels me to keep laughing because I realize that uh, this is the choice for my voice is to laugh because I could be angry or I could laugh. And that's it. I could be one or the other yeah. because when you're angry, you can't be happy, and you're happy, you can't be angry. <laughs> so <laughs> my boy, my I got a choice, yeah. and I'm going to exercise it, and that is something I I hope everybody does. Laughter clubs are free, all over the world, and so that's one of the simplest ways to come out and find out what this is all about. <laughs> I'm staying healthy, guys. <laughs> I'm keeping my emotion yes. good. And, and that's what I'm going with Linda, that I'm going to be happy through laughter yoga. Mm -hmm. See, and you know, as she mentioned, uh, you mentioned what? Uh, uh, mental? Mental, emotional, emotional uh, spiritual, spiritual, and physical. And physical. These are just the aspects we look at our body in. So every one of them is benefiting when you're laughing. And, and I tell you, it helped me, it helped me uh, uh, in my life. Uh, help me uh, uh, in my election. I, I go out and campaign. <laughs> help yeah, me, uh, you can tell us. I, and, and I, I laugh. <laughs> well, laughter yeah. yoga. Well, think about it. It, it. it is inclusive of all, so it is non-political. Yeah. But no. it helps him in his campaign because when he gets everybody laughing, they want to vote for the, the laughing guy. <laughs> He's having a good time. <laughs> Very good. So. Thank you.